Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a ferry service for the Kingston Harbour. Now this is the harbour we're looking at. Straight ahead is Kingston and then to the left is Port Royal. Now Jamaica doesn't have any ferry service operating as of today. As a matter of fact, it's been a couple of years since a ferry operated in Jamaica. So guys, do you think it's time to set up a ferry service in Jamaica again? No, the service would operate between Kingston, Port Royal and Portmore. And one of the major aspects of it would be it would be an alternative route to the airport but if you have a ferry service from downtown to Kingston sorry <laughs> from downtown to Port Royal it will definitely increase the traffic going to Port Royal because the ferry would be a recreational service basically if you're going to the airport you could also have another means of getting to the airport but the biggest impact probably would be from Portmore to Kingston. Now Portmore is one of the fastest growing urban areas in Jamaica. Just look at the traffic on the toll road in the mornings from, King, from Portmore to Kingston and look at the traffic from on Mandela Highway in the mornings and in the evenings. A lot of people live in Portmore and work in Kingston. So the ferry would allow an alternative route or alternative means of travel for people coming from Portmore to Kingston. And if you have an efficient bus service, because we have a lot more buses now, you wouldn't even need to drive. You could get on the ferry in Portmore, come over to Kingston, get in a bus and head to work. That would significantly cut down on the amount of traffic on the roads. So, what do you guys think? Do you think it's time that they set back up a ferry service? And some years ago, the UDC tried to set back up the service. So we're going to go through an article going through what the UDC did some years ago. And maybe it's time for them to look back at the project. Now, the important thing is we're not going to be using old ships if we set back up the service. You can get from... Portmore to Kingston in 10 to 15 minutes. That is the kind of vessel we need. So it's not a one hour journey or a, it's an efficient service. Sorry, I think it would be, I'm not 100% sure on the time. Guys, if you're going by ferry or ship, how long does it take to get from Portmore to Kingston, downtown Kingston? All right, so we're going to go through an article that this was when the UDC tried to set back up a ferry service. The Urban Development Corporation has announced plans to launch a ferry service to improve connectivity between Port Royal, Norman Manning International Airport, Portmore, and downtown Kingston. The initiative aims to provide a cost-effective alternative to an earlier proposal for a bridge across the Kingston Harbour and to meet the demands of Kingston's, rapid, Kingston's rapidly growing metropolitan areas. The proposal, according to UDC representatives, would reimagine the older Port Royal downtown Kingston ferry route which seats operations years ago. With Portmore emerging as the region's fastest growing urban area, the UDC sees a ferry as an ideal commuting option for residents who travel to Kingston for work, as well as an efficient link to the airport and a potential attraction for recreational trips. Prelim preliminary talks with the Ministry of Transport and Works and the Port Authority have been encouraging, and the UDC envisions, envisions integrating this service into a broader plan for a multimodal transport system in Kingston. High-speed vessels similar to those used in Europe are being considered to keep travel times around 10 to 15 minutes. Initial plans involve launching one or two vessels to gauge commuter interest. 
Additionally, the UDC's long-term vision includes developing Kingston's Harbour as both an economic and recreational zone with provisions for a cruise ship pier and amenities to support tourism and leisure. So that was a few years ago when they looked at this project. I think it's time that they revisit this project. And even if it's not a government entity that does it, maybe a private entity, because there is definitely a demand for the service. So guys, let us know what you think about this. Leave your comments in the section below. All right, guys. Have a good day.